The Institute of Statistical, Social and Economic Research is making a strong case for the government to address challenges affecting Ghana's cocoa sector. This comes on the back of the 2024 Economist Intelligence Unit Commodities Outlook, which indicates that the price of cocoa will go up. According to Director of Research Professor Peter Kwati, government should be swift in restructuring Ghana Cocoa Board and other critical areas within the cocoa value chain for the sector to improve on its revenue. Speaking to Joy Business, he also said government must act fast in dealing with labor demands. We should also look at what we are spending on, how we are spending the money, and whether that is an efficient uh, ways of spending the money, and whether we are deriving value for money. Now let's look at this. We, uh, we happen to be in an election year. We've seen some labor unions agitate and all that. Looking at the election year, how do we sort of manage labor demands? It's not new. We see labor, labor agitations. In election years, that is when they think they have to demand a pound of flesh. I mean, it happens all the time. But we have gone through, we have pulled through this. There are ways of engaging labor, making them understand the economic situation, making also appreciate your uh, standpoint. But also, it should also reflect in your lifestyle. If you want labor to accommodate certain hardship or accommodate uh, less or little increments rather than asking for higher increments. You also have to reflect on uh, the lifestyle of government, government appointees. Uh, no, let's be transparent. Finally, um, the EIU is saying there will be some sort of stabilization with respect to prices of some commodities, but there will be an increase with respect to cocoa and coffee. We're looking at Ghana. Now, we've seen Cocoa Boss struggle, we've seen PBC and other. How do we take advantage of these increases based on the EIU report? Well, yes, uh, all things being equal, as, as we say, uh, because we also are very much aware that Galamse is destroying cocoa farms. So um, if we don't manage illegal mining, um, the output we generate from cocoa might not be what we'll be uh, generating now and that with the increase in prices we might not benefit as much as we would have benefited. So we need to fight the illegal mining problem and if we do so then we can rake in the revenue from cocoa and um, also cocoa board and they certainly have to be supported. Um, I believe in the budget statement and also in the IMF uh, program there were steps to ensure that cocoa board is uh, restructured that there will be the, the uh, Minister of Finance, for instance, said you're going to be part of the, the board and, and so many. So there are, there are steps or uh, proposals that have been made. It's just putting them to practice to ensure that these organizations uh, operate efficiently, they are managed, uh, they are governed properly, efficiently. And once that is done, I believe in the next couple of years. Meanwhile, the Ghana Cocoa Board has stated that cocoa processing companies in Ghana are permitted by law to import cocoa beans into the country. This follows a leaked letter signed by the Chief Executive Officer Joseph Bwain Edu to Afrotropic Cocoa Processing Company Limited approving their importation of cocoa beans. But responding to the leaked letter, Public Relations Officer of Cocoa Board Fifi Boafo described the discussions on social media regarding the importation as misinformation. He explained that the practice has been in force for the past 20 years. The basis for any company to import from outside Ghana is what we've indicated in the uh, response or the letter we've indicated or we issued. What it has to do with the recipe requirements of the company, too, it has to do with uh, cost management of that company and the operational strategy that company decides to employ. It is not uh, a new thing. It's something that has been part of the industry for some number of years. So uh, for a company to import cocoa and then blend here in Ghana, there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. And it's a practice that is already known within the cocoa industry. The 2,500 um, tons that is being imported, if you look at the production figures of Ghana, we do an average of about 850,000 metric tons. And this is 2,500 metric tons. Uh, certainly, you, you would all say that that is significant in terms of the production numbers 
we deal with in our country.